everyone, I'm Naomi, I'm here with Christian, and we're going to be playing Groove Coaster. Now, before we start, we do have an incentive for the Navigator, so it could be either Sans or Papyrus, and I'm wondering who won. Uh, last uh, quick refresh here, boop, 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 where we are, here we go. We have a difference of 20 euros, and the winner is... Brrrr, Sans. Okay. <laughs> of course. All right, so the navigators, they talk essentially during the cutscene. So like if I, I set, they'll talk. So Sans, listen to this. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Sans. All right, cool. Thank you for donating. We're going to be starting the Groove Coaster uh, score attack. It basically means we're going to go through all these songs from start to finish. And we're going to start time as soon as I hit, I hit the uh, next screen with uh, A. So get ready on time. It's loading, and here we go! Woo. Woo. Yes, for concentration purposes, I'm going to be carrying most of the commentary during the song, so Naomi can focus on getting the high scores, because getting a score attack, she always has a goal she wants to hit. I have my trusty phone here, but it has a calculator on it, so I'm going to keep in track, so take that math teacher said I never have a calculator all the time, because I do now. So yeah, basically, the way the tracks are laid out in this is we're basically going through the Undertale game via its soundtrack. So Bone Trussell being one of the first bosses you fight, it's not the first boss, but it's one of the uh, earlier ones where you kind of have a big divergence where, uh, when you uh, basically either go for pacifist, neutral, or the no-no route, as we like to call it, because we don't want anything bad to happen from mentioning the no-no words. So we're going to go through, so we're going to go through Papyrus, we're going to go through uh, Metaton, and we're going to have a good time. It's really difficult because I really, really like this soundtrack. So too, too many times I'll find myself, instead of saying words, I'll just hum along to the music. Though we do have a, a wonderful cheerleader in the back. So I'm sure we've got some more entertainment value. Yeah, in Groove Coach, there's a few different types of notes you can hit, and like, you've probably seen them. You have slides, which are the arrows. You have the regular hits, which are just the, the white circles. You have the criticals, which are... Oh, I'm lucky there. You have, I which have are basic, failed on Papyrus. My life is over. Which are the uh, bigger ones where you need to hit two buttons at the same time. And the real difficulty in this game comes from uh, figuring yourself out. There you have a wiggle where you need to wiggle a stick back and forth. To a... Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I... I... <laughs> It's the morning. <laughs> it's the morning. Hey, so we have time anyway. We're just going to restart this. <laughs> I do not accept okay, this. Okay, roll, roll it back. No, roll it back. Roll it back. There's no way I'm failing on Papyrus. Roll it back. Let's roll it back. Explain the notes again. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sad. The different types of notes we're going to speak. White dots. Circular ones require one input, like the most basic of notes. Criticals, which you see there. You need to hit two. You also see something pop up occasionally, which just says ad lib. Those are invisible notes, which basically you just need to know where they are, and they give you bonus points. They give you extra parts. They give you extra push to your chain. Let's just jam along for a yeah. bit. And again, you have slides. Just basically, that's either moving the stick in the right direction or pressing a, but a uh, button in like the on the uh, face pad because you have like up, down, left, right. It's pressing a button in the uh, uh, direction that represents that on the uh, controller. Because when you're playing Groove Coaster on the arcade machine, you have a uh, two, you have like two discs. You move, you can move them around. You move up, down, left, right, diagonal, all around, and two buttons on them. So it's, what they've done here is they've adapted that to the controller, which is how you now can play this on the Switch, which is what Naomi is running on. I'm trying to. I've had to explain things, but I've also just want to groove. And it's only going to get worse because the songs just get better and better. Darn you, Toby Fox, for writing a good soundtrack. There you go, there you have the wiggles again. Just wiggle the stick back and forth very fast. So the difficulty is only going to ramp up from here, though, because some tracks move pretty darn fast to the point where 
the controller points cannot register all the inputs quick enough, so you need to very there much be moving around. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, I'm so sorry for resetting there, but it's the first song, doesn't really matter let anyway. Me, let me get my We cannot reset now because then it's invalid. Yeah, nine, nine, but seven, like, one, one, six. there's no way I'm gonna take a loss on Papyrus. That's like the biggest skill issue of my life at that point. I'd rather lose to Undyne here. Speaking of which, this is the first very difficult song in the game. I'll be tapping along at the start just to keep him beat. Also one of my personal favorites from the soundtrack. Which you will hear me say a lot because they're all like personal favorites from the soundtrack. They're all so good. They picked a really good selection of tracks for this, uh, for the DLC for this. This one's difficult because there's a lot of very quick notes coming back and forth in different rhythms, which uh, can, be, can be pretty difficult to hit, especially uh, when you're trying to keep, keep everything in perfectly in time, because you want to get those grades because they give you a bigger score boost, which means you get a better score attack, and people love getting high scores. Yeah, another cool thing about the Groove Coaster engine as well for games in general is you can see how the backgrounds are moving to show what would be happening in game at this point. So you have, because this is basically what plays when you're fighting on dying, and he's showing you little bits of what happens in the build up to that. So here, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the water machine where if you played the game, you can either choose to help Undyne with her dehydration or just leave her be. Again, Undyne's Kitchen as well, which is a point where you have cooking mini games where you have to try and make pasta because that's what everyone makes. Everyone likes pasta. Let's go! There we go. Okay, all right, we'll take these. Okay, all right. While well, we're writing this down, Zonorous, nice quick donation to us. Yes, a quick donation to read. We got five euros from Mies L W D. Is that a key? No. Welcome to Mies. Silent Hill. No, it's Groove Coaster. Yeah. Good luck on the run, Naomi. Oh. Enjoy the final day of BSG Annual 2023. Better hit that 6K. Got to see Tazbot. Cheers. We got to see Tazbot. Thank you so much, Mies. All right, let's move on. Next song, Spider Dance. This is an actual really hard song. It's at 200 BPM or like 240 BPM. It's like very high BPM. And it has like the worst yeah. ad libs. And ad libs are hidden notes. Um, fingers crossed. Let's yeah. see if we can do this. It's also another one of my personal favorites, like the last track. You really are at the mercy point of knowing, understanding the hardware, because I think this is one of the tracks where if you try to go too fast, you can just drop inputs due to a uh, speed. So it's knowing a, uh, which parts of the controller will not drop inputs, because you're working with like, hardware limitations at this point, so you need to send a different inputs to it for it to actually register everything going on. Because input buffers do be a cruel mistress. All right, ad lips coming up. That's the sneaky one. The hard one. Perfect. All right, endurance test. Ad lip. There we go. There okay, we go. that's the trickiest one. Yeah, some of these ad libs really can throw you off your rhythms just because of where they are. Because you can't see them, you're not expecting. And so it's very much you need, need to know the, the uh, tracks in and out to know where the ad libs are going to be. Easy. Noise. Easy full chain. My goodness. All right. 
So for those, we haven't really explained the score system, but you can either have a clear, which means you beat the song, uh, no miss, which means you didn't miss any notes, and full chain, which means you didn't miss any notes and any ad-libs. This is what we want to see. So, we're on our way to Death by Glamour. And as this is the most fabulous track, I expect some good dancing from the audience. I expect them too. We need cheerleaders for this, because this is the most <laughs> fabulous song. Okay, okay. Let me focus. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I have no idea what's going on behind me. <laughs> I'm just in the zone. And Naomi doesn't know what's going on. She knows something is going on, <laughs> but not quite what it is. <laughs> leg, leg. Leg, leg. Leg, leg. leg. At ESA, I failed this song. I'm gonna not fail this time. I'm determined. Did you hear that? With Undertale, she's filled with determination. Oh, it's all coming together. These are hard. <laughs> okay, well, salt game. Easy. There you go. I was afraid, right. I was afraid when you said solved game, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have jinxed it. That's what I'm always thinking at that point. Solved game. All right, you wrote it down? Yep. Fantastic. All right. Next song. My favorite song in Undertale of all time, Asgore. I'm gonna rock out hard if I miss a note. But it's because of that. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, anyway. Well, I get to carry on. I'm getting muted for you. Yeah, I, I remember playing this first because I somehow played Undertale like three years after it came out and still was able to go in blind because I watched nothing of it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do a big spoiler now, so anyone watching... I am going to a. Uh, I know. Oh my God! Spoiler! I'm going, to, I'm going to comment on the game. So if you've not played it, turn your ears away now. Yeah, usually in the game you have the option to either like fight or have mercy. On a, if you're going to try and go a pacifist route, but in this fight against Asgore, he just straight up destroys your mercy option. He goes, no, that you can't. Oh, when, you, uh, when you have like a game in breaking all the mechanics like that, you just go, oh, okay, this game knows what it's doing. I am now fully invested in this. Speak of no mercy. No oh, mercy. Oh, hey, look. That's where it is. <laughs> they do show it. Okay, you're going to get spoiled anyway then, so you can't, have, you, can't, you can't be angry at me. Can we just appreciate how cool the visuals are? Yeah. They really tell the story of these characters. Anyway, focus on. What the three, what the three, one, two, what the three, what the three. One, two. 
Okay. Nice. All right. There we go. All right. The last part is kind of hard in that song. All right, Sonorous. We have a really hard song coming up next, and I need to mentally prepare myself. So remind us what we're raising money for. Yeah, sure, I can do that. We're raising money for mine, which is the NASA nationwide organization <laughs> for mental health. Um, where's the thing? Here, here's the thing. There we <laughs> <go>. <laughs> I remember it that much. Uh, yeah, we're raising nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues. Mind strives to provide support. Uh, individuals and families facing mental health challenges and all of your donations go directly towards mine. So far, we've raised 5,378 euros. Today is the last day of BSG, so not all too many hours left in this great marathon. And also, guys, chat, people, everyone, 6K, Taskbot, make it happen. We're all right. missing 621 euros and Taskbot is coming up in uh, I like one how and I... a half to two hours. I like how I, you know, when you said Taskbot is coming and then I go to this <laughs> song. <laughs> All right, it's time to prepare. I actually have hair in my eye, so. Yeah, this is by far the hardest track to do. No, <laughs> no, it, 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 well, yes, but also no. We can never underestimate Sans. True. Okay, anyway, I, I, if you could be quiet for like a little bit, I need to just get this. They don't have to laugh or just cringe, by the way, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, the thing that makes this a lot harder than a, a lot of the other tracks going on is this makes use of a lot of polyrhythms, where basically lots of different rhythms happening at the same time. And they do not shy away from those in Groove Coaster. You will have to deal with them. They will throw curveballs at you, and they are not fun to deal with. This is one of the tracks, like, whenever I've been playing Groove Coaster, I've always, always struggled with it. It's also the one where you have the most a, uh, it w you will drop inputs because the game cannot keep up. Luckily, you do have like these little small breaks where they're less polyrhythm heavy and a lot more, a lot calmer. So you do get breaks, but they're very brief and then you're just thrown right back into the- The worst part coming thing. up now. This section is just horrible. Not this particular, just up until the next break, essentially. Hard part coming up now. Okay, we lost a chain. That's okay. It's fine though. I don't know where we lost it, but I'll believe it. Yeah, I think it was a drop input. All right, uh, visual noise time, so I'm gonna count. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, 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 five, one, two, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, it's okay. It's okay. It's like one miss. I mean, come on. That's a good. Well, yeah, that's a good score. We'll, we'll call it a good score. 920. All right. Uh, visual lights warning now. Like, I cannot sit through this song sometimes. It's that flashy. So be sure, you know, if you can't handle that, yeah. this is your final warning. Now, now would be a good time to uh, take to, uh, so go to go to a different tab. Uh, maybe the donation tab so we can see Taskbot later. Oh, wow. You're right. We also have. Oh, wait, we already met you in Genesis. Never mind. Da, da. So, this entire song has two ad libs. There's one. And there's two. My eyes already hurt. It's only gonna get worse with these criticals coming up. This part sucks. 
Yeah, it's just because like the the tempo they is like just like slowing a little down. bit slower. <laughs> it's like it's like it's gradually slowing, and then it sort of speeds back up again. Changing tempos are always really difficult because it, like it completely messes like the actual flow you've got. So it's a All right, the worst part coming up. They're about to flash like every arrow I'm gonna hit here. And then a lot of flashing in a bit. Okay, well, that's that's the song. Yeah. Oh, what? You're no. lying to me. Oh my god, I got confident and I got punished. All I had to do was hold the button. Your hubris got the better of you. Okay, I pressed it. Come on. Thank you. This is what happens through hubris, Naomi. This is so cringe, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's you, okay. You really are. It's okay. It's like 974. That's still perfect. Let me uh, let me uh, just get a quick night. All right, so uh, <sighs> hot tracks time! <Woo>! Yeah, <laughs> who's ready to watch Naomi suffer? Oh my god! All right, so this song, there's gonna be one part where I have to keep up a BPM, and it's very hard. Wow, I just described rhythm games. All right, anyway. <laughs> Shadows to and die getting two songs, but Asriel not getting any. This is so sad. All right, Naomi, can we play Megalovania? Looks pretty easy right now, but from here on, it's just tapping. You see these little fast taps? We gotta see a lot more of them. And they're only gonna get faster. Right now. All right, that nice. was it. Okay. Whew. That's just part one. If you know Undying the Undying, you know it's never over until it's over. And even then, she refuses to die. Da -da -da. At ESA, I filled at the next part here. So let's see if we can beat this part. I believe. Come on. We're so through. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I believe it's just this last section. And then Naomi will, will come up on top against a battle against a true hero. All right. There we go. Okay. Nice. Full chain. Okay. Had some tempo issues here. So it's not going to be the highest mm. full chain, but we'll take Seven. it. S plus is perfectly fine. All right, we're about to have a bad time. Here we go. This guy sucks. Take off my hat for this. For a second, I thought you'd go, okay, it's time. Just turn your hat backwards. <laughs> no, no, I actually need like, my full <laughs> eyesight for this. All right. Okay, I have faith. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have expectations. All I want is a, is a, is a good time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, don't talk until the tunnel of despair.
Okay, that's the, one of the first very tough sections. This this track is very tough all the way through. But uh, like, especially the start as it's throwing it Christian. into. Oh, sorry. All the way. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, very difficult. As you can tell, Naomi doesn't want me to speak because it's pretty tough. She doesn't want me to say anything too much. Because, yeah, it's, it's a brutal track. Also, a lot of ad libs that you need to know and pay attention to. And they can be very, very uh, easy to miss. Oh, okay. First part go. done. Okay. <gasps> All right. Now I'm excited. <laughs> okay, but the fun never ends. Determination. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a loud yell from the camera with some determination right now? Determination! Determination! And I'm sure sending donations will also fill everybody with determination. Okay. All right, Christian. It's the final battle. Let's go! Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> That's a shoot! Hold on! <laughs> nice! Oh my god! That's an S++ on Megalovania! I'm just... Just oh. so you know, I've done this two times in my life. S++. It's one of them now? Oh my god! So you've done it twice and it's one of them, one of them is now? No, this is the third one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not that good. Okay. <laughs> Just casually clutches it out. I go, I've done it oh. once before, so I know I can do it. Oh my god, it's time to start spinning. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so this was re uh, released during the first or second phase of Delta Room. Um, and this was chapter so one. they added a Delta Room song to it, which is The World Revolving. I have never played Delta Room in my life, so. They asked me, hey, is the Jevil in this? Like, I, the World Revolving is in this, but it's the same thing. Everyone just enjoy. Yeah, in game, this is, a, uh, this is like a hidden boss. Let the games begin. So, am I also gonna have to start spinning, or are you gonna spin all on your own? The world is spinning. Spinning. What, why are you not spinning? Go, go get up and spin. Come on. If you get up and spin, I'll get up and spin. Happening, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Ad libs again. Those are the harder ones. Time is coming up. Once it says full chain, because we're going for full chain, baby. Time! Woo! Full chain, let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> my goodness, I, there's not a lot to say other than uh, it's time for Neon Genesis of Egalion. But first, what is my score? Because last time we had 9.6 million at ESA. What do we get now? Well, what was your goal? What would you say your goal was just to beat ESA? I'm actually going for 9.7 million. <laughs> okay, well, that's too high, okay. I guess. Go for it. You Come got, on, Chris. We don't have a lot of time. Yeah. You got 9 million, 
800,000, 800,000, and 420. That's a PV! That's a PV! Nice. Let's go, okay. Screw you. All right. Uh, it's time for New Genesis Evangelion. Uh, we're gonna go to that. There you go. Yeah, by the way, feel free to slow, go slow because it's more time for donations, right? That, that's how this works. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I mean, not right. I mean, I meant the general. Oh, right, uh, right, right, right. right. Yeah, of course, of course. If you go slow, there's more time for people you to know, donate. If we hit, if we hit another, if we hit 5,400, I'll do another song because I do actually have time. Do it. Do it. I, I dare you, chat. You won't do it. All right. Do it. You won't. <laughs> and join me in Genesis Evangelion, everyone. All $22, rise. $22, chat. Make it happen. You're All right. Do it. Do it. All oh, rise for the Weeb National right, Anthem. Here you go. The Weeb National Anthem. All right, here we go. <laughs> Can I just say, I made some decisions today. One of them is making Chris my commentator. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it was a miss? Uh, you know, it's fine. All right, everyone just enjoy. Sing along if you know the song. That's not the lyrics. <laughs> I don't know Japanese. Let's go! That's it. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. This is Groove Coast. Absolutely love this game. Uh, I've got to keep grinding it to get even better scores. Maybe next time, in the year's time, two years' time, I'll show you Master Difficulty. Who knows? Ooh. 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 Until then, uh, I'm just going to sign off. I'm going to head it back to Zonaris. Hey, that's me. Thank you, Naomi, for the Groove Coaster Room. Especially that Megalovania, that was pretty epic. Congrats on that I one. I agree. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you could not see it, but uh... up, up. oh, there we go! By the way, hey, bonus song! Oh, there we you go. get another bonus song. Okay, all right. Okay, I actually have to think of a bonus song. All right, uh, and make sure uh, it won't get the stream demonetized. Uh, oh, so you want drama turkey? I just quickly want to say <laughs> those were two twenty-two dollar uh, euro, in, like two okay. of those. I know, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. It's always Daddy Mulk. It's always Daddy Mulk. Okay, we'll do this one last song and then I'll actually sign off. This is a really hard song. It has a Shamison solo. It's really good. I love this song. Uh, just because you donated and it's making that task bot happen. Naomi will very much regret having me sat next to her right now. But it's all good. Because we're all having fun, and that's what truly matters. We're having fun, raising money for a good cause. But what, what more can we ask for? All right, Shamus is solo tied. This, this is the best part. Oh, uh, it took me months to get this right. Make a break.
Let's go! That's the soda, that's the hard part. Full chain, Woo! easy game. And that's it for me for real. Sonorous, take it over. So yeah, thank you so much. I just quickly want to shout out the two donations that made the bonus song happen. We got 22 euros from Victorian Gamer saying, you filled us all with determination. <laughs> and we got another 22 euros from Mies LWD. <laughs> Mies. Saying 20, 22 euros, just do it. <laughs> and another 600 for Taskbot. Go, Naomi. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for everyone, and thanks to Naomi and uh, this uh, the Rhythm Games. What I was about to say before we got the donations, the uh, chat was vibing very intensely with all the dancing emotes. So, uh, <laughs> chat very much enjoyed that one. Thank you, chat. Cool. Anyway, so we'll be jumping into a quick intermission, and when we come back, we'll see Linkameister with Sonic Blast Man 2. So please don't go anywhere, and don't forget to donate. We want to see Taskbot, so... Uh, See you in a bit.